When I was preaching in Australia, a lady was in the congregation who had been traveling by air from Australia to New Zealand over the Tasman Sea. And halfway across to New Zealand, they had run into a violent electrical storm and the, the clouds seemed to be on fire with lightning all around the aircraft. And, and she was quite frightened. And the plane was being tossed around with the wind and the air pockets. And the passengers panicked and they were screaming. They were holding on to each other. I think they all thought the plane would break up and they would all die. And the lady noticed that the lady sitting next to her against the window was praying. Well, any, anybody would pray in that situation. But she said to her, excuse me, but are you a Christian? The lady said, yes. <coughs> and so they said, well, let's pray together. And together they said, Lord, you stilled the storm 2,000 years ago. Please do it again. But please still the storm inside the plane as well as outside. And within two minutes, everybody in the plane was at peace and had stopped screaming and was sitting quietly. But the storm continued outside and she had a camera, so she leant over across the new friend and she held the camera at arm's length against the window and pressed the trigger, hoping that she might get a picture of this extraordinary sight of the lightning apparently setting the whole sky on fire. Well, she took the film to be developed in New Zealand after she'd landed safely because as soon as she took the photograph, the storm outside stopped as well. And they came into clear air and landed safely in New Zealand. She took the film to be developed and the shop rang her up later and said, your photographs are ready, but will you please come and pick them up yourself? I want to talk to you. And when she went to collect the photograph, she said, why do you want to talk to me? And the photographer said, where did you get this photograph? And she told how she'd uh, held the camera against the window of the plane and how the storm had stopped as soon as she took the photograph. And the photographer and his family all became Christians that afternoon. It was originally a color photograph I've only managed to get it on black and white in this transparency, but this was how the photograph turned out. I don't think you'll be able to see the face. You will one day. But that was what the camera saw. She didn't. A figure in perfect peace, in control of the situation. I have only once in my life had the sheer privilege of having a vision of Jesus. I saw him. I can't describe his face to this day. But just to know that he was there and he was real. But one day we shall see him and see his face and we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. Well, John had that vision, but it was frightening as I told you last night. He fell in a dead faint. And a well-known voice said, don't be afraid. I was dead and now I am alive forevermore. You know of every other great world leader, every other founder of a religion, you have to say they were alive and they are now dead forevermore. Only of Jesus can you say he was dead and is alive forevermore. Confucius is dead, Buddha is dead, Muhammad is dead, but Jesus is alive. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, Come, Lord Jesus.